Well, good evening. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, U.S. markets for Friday's trading, the uh, 17th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, markets, let's try and work this out exactly where we're headed and uh, which direction we are uh, determined to go. Okay, now in terms of the Asian market, so overnight we have the uh, Shanghai down 1%, the Nikkei down as well, so we're certainly taking our cue from there. The post Yellen, uh, less than uh, dovish rally, certainly is coming to an end, okay. Uh, certainly has come to an abrupt end really, no, no real higher highs ever since. So again, looking for risk aversion, folks, that really is what I would expect at this current juncture, okay, in terms of the uh, the market reaction at present, okay. So let's uh, let's look at the technical picture, given the fact that U.S. economic data really hasn't been uh, any major market moving, other than the fact that we did have the rig count coming uh, stronger than expected, therefore obviously forcing commodities lower, and therefore looking to uh, trigger risk aversion. Okay, now let's start with the uh, the Dow Jones first and foremost. Okay, so the Dow Jones. Let's go to the daily chart, the Dow Jones at the moment, we're still making that lower high, so no higher high as of yet, okay, still indicating and looking for weakness, okay, and the Dow, a 10 minute chart you can see here, starting to reverse now on the Dow, again the main thing is, is that we haven't tested or we haven't pushed to new highs, it's very, very sluggish and it's indicating weakness, okay, let's move on to the, the Dow tra Transportation Index, Dow Transport still remain weak, okay, you can certainly see that weakness on the 10 minute chart as well, certainly, pushing a lower okay so just bear that in mind in terms of the S&P now let's move on the S&P 500 daily chart you can see that fib uh, 75 fib 61 uh, percent certainly is holding on the daily chart therefore indicating risk aversion moving on to the 60 minute chart really in no man's land just trading sideways at present this uh, key resistance is holding thus far 2376 and the 10 minute chart you mean 60 minute chart bear in mind you still have that unfilled gap above at 2396 so just watch out for that 10 minute chart obviously coming into resistance now uh, you are holding support here at uh, 2377 so just certainly take that into consideration if we break that ideally you're looking at gap fill below that would be your ideal target given the fact that you have uh, concerns from a uh, from the asian markets okay looking for risk aversion here to kick in and looking to close that uh, gap at 2366 that's what i'd expected regardless anyway today that's what I was looking for from a, a trading perspective. Okay, but we, um, for, we haven't. That's failed to unfold now. Due main, mainly probably due to the uh, um, St. Patrick's Day light volume, etc. Okay, so certainly take that into consideration as well. Now the VIX is getting crushed at the moment. Uh, again, VIX really is non-stop grind lower. I mean, it's unbelievable. If you look at the daily chart, folks, on the uh, VIX, I'd expected a uh, bearish channel breakout ages ago, and that certainly hasn't transpired at all or materialized so daily chart of vix getting absolutely creamed here now from uh, from a um uh rsi and a stochastic perspective i mean you can clearly see the vix is really over oversold okay and it certainly is looking for a reversal 60 minute chart really it's um Uncharted territory once again, so that certainly seems to be a recurring theme okay looking at 10 minute chart ideally you want to see a reversal or even signs of reversal up to gap fill, possibly at least, okay, looking for risk off in the market. So, interesting times, interesting times to say the least, okay. Right, in terms of the uh, the Russell now, let's move on to the Russell, folks, okay. Let's just come cross-reference everything with the Russell, as always. Okay, dokie, let's go to the Russell, that's your Russell 3000. Okay, here we go, Russell 2000, okay. So Russell 2000 on the daily chart, you guys, you can see here is in FIB 61% resistance, and is into gap fill, so therefore looking for risk aversion there, okay. Now the 10 minute chart is certainly hitting that upper body, uh, or upper channel, and again, you're looking for gap fill above, which is at 138, so once we close that gap, you are looking at risk aversion, and looking for the market sell off, from my interpretation. So certainly look for a potential reversal, very, very imminent, okay, and very, very soon. 10 minute chart of the NASDAQ itself certainly is sluggish. Ever since it's broken out, it hasn't been very convincing at all. No real continuation in the actual rally itself. As you can see here, we've tested that double top level now. Uh, and again, certainly starting to look like it wants to put in a topping tail. So just bear that in mind. 
a 10 minute chart the nasdaq you can see we haven't even tested that previous high yet so certainly isn't a good sign from my perspective certainly is very very sluggish and lethargic and that certainly isn't a, a good in terms of uh, bullish price action okay no real conviction there on the upside okay so that certainly seems to be the status quo with the nasdaq let's just cross reference that with the biotechs and the semicons if I bring up the biotechs, you can see the biotechs certainly have put in a double top and starting to reverse now. And therefore, risk off uh, is the name of the game. Looking at the semiconductors as well, semiconductors 10 minutes, you can certainly see that we're certainly topping out here. Daily chart certainly topping out and so certainly looking very exhausted. Uh, in terms of 60 minute chart, again, no higher highs. So looking for a lower high and a lower low. Again, risk aversion. That certainly seems to be the name of the game at present. Okay. Right. So VIX looking for a potential reversal, okay. Commodities certainly expected to uh, to feel the pressure given the rig count certainly is on the increase, okay. Let's look at the financials. Uh, interesting to see the financials. Daily chart, the financials at the moment certainly reversing lower, uh, even with uh, a potential rate hike. Uh, now, Miss Yellen, obviously, she wasn't as hawkish as everybody expected, so hence the reason why the financials certainly giving pu pulling back uh, on the on the uh, due to disappointment there. So bear that in mind. Although commodities certainly have been gaining. Now, let's look at the energy sector here. Energy sector certainly starting, uh, certainly looks weak and looks like it wants to move even lower. Uh, given the fact that uh, we have uh, the rig count certainly increasing, given the fact that we are still in this lower lows and lower highs, you certainly, I mean, certainly expect the uh, the 67 level below on the energy sector, you, uh, SPDI energy sector, certainly to be tested. So certainly watch out for watch out below in terms of the the market itself. Okay. Russell 3000 as well, certainly lagging. So con my conclusion really from US markets, especially given the fact that the biotech semiconductor and NASDAQ all look top heavy, you are looking for a reversal lower on the S&P as well, especially given the fact that the Russell is into gap fill. So uh, conclusion, risk aversion, looking for the market certainly to move lower. Okay, on that note, please be sure to look for, uh, look, look, visit CFDs.com, specialists uh, in uh, CFD brokerage and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.